another example of uh, a failure. Uh, in fact, uh, I want uh, I was trying to build a statue. Uh, the statue is even is really higher. It's really higher. It, it it has been stopped during the middle of the the statue. Uh, this uh, statue is good-looking female statue, but the problem is that, uh, as you can see here, uh, I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, I was observing the thing, and suddenly, uh, here, there has been a kind of a a bubble, but, but just not a little bubble, uh, a true big bubble. Uh, a bubble of uh, uh, a bubble higher like that, and uh, of course, um, uh, because of the the filament, the filament is is a really um, uh, is something that solidifies quickly. Uh, you you can imagine that um, a solid part like that um, was just uh, impossible to 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 remove uh, I mean that the printer was doing his internal job like that and suddenly here a bubble appeared so the the nozzle shits out some bubbles you see it's uh, it's strange because everything was going right uh, and uh, this bubble just uh, fucked up the entire the entire statue because you couldn't continue anything there, there was a kind of a scratching phenomenon here each time the the, the print head had to work this is scratching and uh, the statue was stable but it, st it started to to move like that and it uh, it fall uh, and this is a waste of PLA filament you can see that uh, 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 it needs a lot of filament, internal filament, to uh, to make it solid, and um, I'm, I'm really, I'm really um, disappointed about this. Uh, I don't know if this is the PLA filament that is junk, see, uh, or to, or I don't know if it comes from a, a problem of temperature. Maybe the 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 temperature is too high, so maybe it generates some uh, uh, some th this kind of pop bubble popping, or the temperature is too low. This, this could be the the, the opposite. And uh, finally, I don't know how or why, but it uh, it's it's uh, it's impossible to build a big a big object. Ca uh, with um, to to be ensured that those those objects will be built in the end. Is, uh, uh, the problem is the printer is um, is printing things, but it can uh, be a one hour or two hour process, and sometimes you cannot uh, stop at the right time the printer uh, and remove those kind of mistakes. So this is a true problem. The printer is taking a lot of time to make his work, and uh, you get to immediately stop the printer. You get to immediately pause the printer when you see that there is a kind of a bubble, a strange bubble like that. Remove it really quickly be before it becomes too solid, and then resume the printer. But you can't do it all the time because sometimes the printer takes one hour, two hours, three hours to make something. You cannot all the time uh, check uh, if everything is right. <sighs> this is uh, this is a bit bothering, and I think that I'm I will have to make more tests with more ten different temperatures, more different kinds of filaments more uh, more tests to determine precisely uh, which is the temperature that is more adapted to this filament because maybe uh, 
225 degrees. It's not the right one. Maybe it's uh, lower or maybe it's higher. I don't know. But well, it's a uh, pretty good looking. Uh, so here is another object, a uh, Manchurian building. And uh, it's a good looking statue uh, of a woman, as you can see. And uh, I think that this way of uh, building uh, objects and statues is a very good idea. Uh, because when, uh, when there's not really a good amount of PLA filament in your... Uh, when you've got not enough PLA filament, um, this hollow this kind of whole object uh, is the ideal method to finish your objects but without wasting a, a PLA filament. And, um, and by the way, this is a pretty good looking object. Uh, I, all, all, I, I had to, sometimes I had to, to take it to take it like that with my hand. Uh, this is a, a nasty method uh, because the, there was here some kind of uh, friction and I was afraid that I was afraid that the friction could uh, could stop uh, or could make the the building of the object fail. So, so I decided to touch it like that, you see, so that it can maintain the statue at the right position. Oh, oh sorry. Well, like that. It's better like that. And, and, and by the by the way it looks terrible. It looks terrible. I'm very pleased uh, about this uh, this statue because this time it is a shield. As you can see uh, it's been down until the end. And uh, but it wasn't that easy. Uh, first of all, I've decided to use this kind of 3D object because I, I was uh, really, really uh, bothered to see that um, uh, each time the printer has problems and each time an object was fucked up, uh, a few more meters of PLA filament was just uh, wasted. So I decided to take a, a hollow object, a hollow object like that. Uh, so then I said to myself, uh, uh, "Well, I, even if it doesn't work, uh, at least uh, you can't, uh, you can say that it it wasn't a waste of uh, filament." Uh, this is this is a good uh, idea to make hollow object, but uh, those hollow object uh, will be more fragile. Um, I I must say that uh, I had to to be very careful during the process because uh, this uh, object is fragile and this uh, object is very uh, high. Uh, so uh, this is not a pyramid and uh, the stability of the object was often compromised. So I had to to take the object like that. Sorry, excuse me, madame, but. Uh, <laughs> I had to take the object like that uh, because the printer the friction of the printer had just shaked the the statue and I had to to be very careful with this one uh, otherwise it would have uh, be fucked up like the other ones so I had to take it with my hand during the process and to to make it more stable uh, uh, the, the, this is a, this is a strategy, but uh, honestly, I didn't build myself this uh, object, and I I don't know how the fuck I could reproduce the same kind of uh, uh, the same kind of shape and in the future. I I don't know how I could use um, which uh, software I could use to make this uh, pretty results. It's a very it's very interesting and very cool looking. Um, 